What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Dr. Hamas Tech. So today we'll be doing a speed, RAM, temperature and benchmark test over here. And in the first corner, we have the POCO F3 rocking the Snapdragon 870. It comes with 6 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of UFS 3.1 storage. And in the other corner, we have the Beast over here. We have the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra. It's rocking the Snapdragon 888. It does have 12 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. Storage. So let's check out the temperature we are in. In the room, it's at 29 degrees. All right, let's check out those phones. 36 degrees, 36 degrees. So equal on both of these two phones. So in the first test, what we're going to do is just boot these two phones up. One, two, three. All right, let's see which one does start up faster. Do note that both of these two phones have been charged up to 100%. All right, the Mi 11 Ultra has started faster with the Poco F3 just right behind it. All right, let's see if the calendar is set up on both these two phones. Looks like the Mi 11 Ultra again, it's just slightly ahead of the Poco F3, which is the second best chipset you can find out there right now. So both of these two phones are connected to the same Wi-Fi, both running at 120 Hz, and the brightness is at the peak on both of these two phones. So let's check out the temperatures as we have started. 36.1, not much difference, 36.1. So as you can see here on both of these two phones, all apps have been closed before we start this test. So here are the apps that we have. So let's get it started. All right, pretty neck and neck on both of these two phones. All right, it looks like uh, pretty neck and neck, but I would say the Mi 11 Ultra was just slightly ahead. All right, let's go to the next one here, Pokemon Go. Again, pretty neck and neck. And the Mi 11 Ultra was just slightly ahead of the Poco F3. So yes, pretty impressive so far. YouTube, pretty neck and neck. I would say maybe the Poco F3 was just slightly ahead. Instagram, over here on the Mi 11 Ultra. Let's go to PUBG Mobile. Another huge app and looks like the Mi 11 Ultra is just having a slight lead. All right, looks like the Mi 11 Ultra again wins this round. Okay, let's check out Chrome. Again, on the Mi 11 Ultra, not much difference. Let's check out those temperatures. 36.6, 36.4. So let's go to Facebook. About the same on both phones. Shopee. About the same maybe on the Mi 11 Ultra, a bit faster. YouTube Music. On the Poco F3. Let's go to Settings. A bit faster on the Ultra. Let's go to Man United. All right. Looks like the 11 Ultra again. Let's go to the Premier League. All right. 11 Ultra, slightly hit. Let's go to Netflix. Again on the 11 Ultra, just very slightly behind here on the Poco F3. Let's check out those cameras. All right. Let's go to the front. Hmm, pretty neck and neck on both phones. Let's go to TikTok. All right, pretty similar on both phones again. Let's go to Photoshop Express. Again, similar on both phones. Let's go to Twitter. Again, similar on both phones. Very hard to choose a clear winner. Play Store. All right, so pretty neck and neck. 
and that's what we're going to do so let's just take out the let's just test the temperatures 37 37 so 37.2 here 37 let's do some ram test let's check out pokemon go over here still holds up over here it's being refreshed let's check out genshin impact over here it's uh still holds up here it's again being refreshed very poor ram management here so i would advise you maybe to get the 8 gigs of ram for the poco f3 let's check out another big app pubg mobile over here as you can see it still holds up very very well let's check out facebook all right pretty similar on both phones instagram a refresh over here and uh, let's check out twitter a bit of a refresh there if i'm not wrong so yes better ram management here on the mi 11 ultra not surprising seeing that they do have 12 gigs of ram so what we're gonna do right now is just test out the temperature again 37.2 37.2 very similar on both phones so what we're doing right now is just close up all the apps on the back and what we are going to do is a Geekbench test. So hopefully here with the Mi 11 Ultra, it is able to show us the results at the end. The Poco F3 did give us some impressive results with the S20 FE test we have done earlier. All right, so before we run this test, you can see the battery here is at 98%. Here is at 99%. This one, of course, does have the bigger battery. So it seems like the Poco F3 does have the better battery management compared to the Mi 11 Ultra. So let's just run this test over here and I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, so we have hit the halfway mark and it's pretty neck and neck on both of these two phones. Very interesting grace over here. Over here, the battery is at 97. Here is at 99. Let's check out those temperatures. 36.7. 36.8 so yes very similar on both of these two phones and i'll just see you guys at the end of this video just to see the results all right so we are touring towards the end and let's just see those amazing results let's see what we're gonna get 1130 in terms of single core score 3001 on the multi core score let's just give it some time for the poco f3 to come out last time we got about 999 over here on the poco f3 let's see if we can hit that 1000 mark and uh yeah that's what you're gonna get 953 multi core score pretty similar on both of these two phones so yes in terms of performance on both of these two phones i would say it's very very similar i would advise you of course to get the higher ram on the poco f3 i think it's going to be very similar in terms of performance so yes this is what you're going to get overall very good performance from both of these two phones so if you guys did enjoy this and you find this helpful do click that like and smash that subscribe button down below for more videos like this in the future do also follow me on my social as well on twitter instagram facebook and also here on youtube at dr Tech. so that is it this this is Dr. Hamas Tech. Stay safe, take care, and wash those hands.